So just to make sure you do understand vector subtraction, we take what would be a positive vector v and we just reverse the direction. So this is a negative v here. Thus the vector u minus v is shown in red. All right, let's look at another example. You're given two vectors. You're given u, which is composed of components u1, u2, where this is our horizontal distance and u2 is our vertical. And then we have v, which is v1 and v2. And we're going to use a scalar of a. Whoa. What we see then is that u plus v will be u1 plus v1, u2 plus v2 which we can see with this example above. So let's go back to our u plus v example. We see that u is a vector that is, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. u is 4 by 4, and v is 1, 2, 1, 2. So v goes 2 to the left and then 2 up. This means that u plus v is going to be 4 plus a negative 2, so we get 2, and then 4 plus 2, which is 6. And indeed, when we draw out u plus v, we go 1, 2, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we just add the respective components of each vector. Here's what happens when you do a scalar times a vector u. This will equal a times u1, and then a times u2. For example, if we were to double the vector u that we see on the screen. So if our scalar was 2, we would then go twice, which gives us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So u, which is usually 4 by 4, 2u becomes 8, 8. And then we could even see that half of a u would be 2, 2. And then lastly, you do need to make sure you know that the magnitude of u is determined by taking the square root of u1 squared plus u2 squared. So we again looking at our example above, the magnitude of u would be the square root of 4 squared plus 4 squared, which is the square root of 16 plus 16, which is the square root of 32. If you'd like to, you could simplify this it's completely up to you. So we could get 4 root 2, or you could write the decimal equivalent. All right. This brings us to example 2. You're given two different vectors, u and v. So we have u and v. First, I want you to construct a graphical representation of negative 2u, 3u plus v, and u minus v. Try this on your own first, and then when you're ready to check your solutions, go ahead and resume the video. Let's look at negative 2u first. Negative 2u means I'm going to go in the opposite direction. There's 1u, but I'm going to go twice that length. So u, which is 2 units to the right, means that negative 2u is 2 units to the left. All right, now let's look at 3u plus v. This means I'm going to go in the direction of u, but three times that. So I'm going to go six units over. That's 3u. Now I'm going to tack on a v. So v goes two over to the left and four down. So I'm going to go two over and four down. There's my v. Thus, the green you see on the screen is 3u plus v. Lastly, let's look at u minus v. 